Good morning. Welcome back to the Berean Preterist. My name is Richard Eckhart. Today is July 16th, 2019. Let's dig right in. Is Don K. Preston a mither? I'm going to share two screenshots from a conversation this morning with Don K. Preston that is from an, an ongoing conversation, a discussion online. Uh, let's dig right in here. Check this out. This screenshot is in response to uh, some other discussion that is going on that is pointing at Don K. Preston as believing various uh, mythology, if you will, in the Bible. And here Don K. Preston says, let's see, I emphatically deny that Genesis is a myth, but Eckhart says, I am a mither. Yep, typical nonsense and falsehood from Eckhart. Greg Kaiser chimed in. He said, Don K. Preston was Adam, the first man from whom all mankind descended biologically. I responded to Don K. Preston this morning. You know that Michael Miano is a mither, and you and William, William Bell, have brought him into your fold. A little yeast works through, works through the whole batch. So you have made it very clear that you and William are intent on exposing the disciples of covenant eschatology, corporate body view preterism, to all the myth, metaphor, and allegory in covenant creation. Michael Miano is also at William, William Bell's and Holger Neubauer's covenant eschatology get-together this year. And you published a book by a loud and proud mither. And furthermore, you personally entertain the idea that there were people on earth before Adam was on earth. You also entertain the idea that there was a local flood in the Middle East with Noah and not a flood of the whole earth. And you are claiming that Margaret Barker is well known as an authority for her views. And she is as radically new age mysticism and Gnostic as you will find anywhere today. If the shoe fits Don. Scott Russell chimed in and said exactly. And let's check out the second screenshot here. And this is the same discussion. And Scott Russell continued. By the way, Rich Eckhart, Don K. Preston, a couple years back, came to the defense of J.L. Vaughn when I was arguing with him about this very thing. Don told me, and this is not a quote, that the creation of the animals in the Genesis story may have related to the animal sacrifices or some such nonsense. Again, this is not a quote, but it does reflect what Don was saying to me at that time. The point is, I was arguing that the Genesis account of creation was about the physical creation of heaven and earth. And life upon this planet that the flood of Noah was global and J.L. Vaughn argued for the creation of a covenant and a local flood. And when it came time for Don to speak up, he argued against me and for J.L. Vaughn's myth. Allow me to read that one more time. Uh, the point is, I was arguing that the Genesis account of creation was about the physical creation of heaven and earth. 
and life upon this planet that the flood of Noah was global. And J.L. Vaughn argued for the creation of a covenant and a local flood. And when it came time for Don to speak up, he argued against me and for J.L. Vaughn's myth. And in conclusion, I said, Scott Russell, think about it for just a moment. It would make total sense that a man who sees the biological, physical, flesh, body of his Jesus Christ be divested and destroyed and burned up would also have other aberrant doctrine. And the whole, quote, corporate body view of spiritual alienation, death, and resurrection in A.D. 70, end quote, over a 40-year corporate body exchange process is at the bottom of all this aberrant theology and false doctrine. So why should it be surprising that this same man has all kinds of skewed thoughts about God and the Bible? And when I mention the, uh, in my last comment here, this is, this is the essential doctrine of Max King that he came up with in the 1970s and the 1980s. This is covenant eschatology in a nutshell. When I said, and the whole, quote, corporate body view of spiritual alienation, death, and resurrection in AD 70, end quote, over a, quote, 40-year corporate body exchange process, end quote, is at the bottom of all this aberrant theology and false doctrine. That's really the problem of what we're dealing with here. Out from that particular doctrine is where you have covenant creation and even Israel onlyism, the, the radically, radically uh, antichrist, uh, Satanic, basically, it's, it's, it's a, you have Israel onlyism, which is a bunch of guys who are trying to, to uh, rip down Almighty God and the Bible and Jesus. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching today. Uh, may, may the bread of life that is the Lord Jesus Christ be yours today. And uh, the awesome living word of God, that is the Lord Jesus Christ as well, through the indwelling, through the miraculous indwelling power and presence of God, the Holy Spirit, in each and every believer on earth. Uh, that living word that speaks to our personal spirit is God, the Holy Spirit. And it is a relationship with the man who was God that was on the cross, and who gave his biological, physical, flesh body as a death sacrifice uh, for each and every person who is in the beautiful Christian ecclesia that was out from the Lord in his personal death on the cross. Peace to you today in the name of God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Catch us soon. Peace.